Sabo na sisi. Sabo. Uya pila kote? Pila kondo kunja. Ainya pila. Mina bangu jalili la school wenu uti yazi. Umuntu wenu tandu kumotivate. Ukulma ne inganu. Ukulma. Yabonu kuze laba antu njiku kutiba kutale mpilu eni. Aosichele ganganje sisi wame uti. Imu pumla ezo. Onga tandu kundu lisa. To other matriculants in South Africa. Kuma anje nje. What is it that you'd like to pass on to them? Ndi fula ukuti. Kupa afuda benza iba angale shumi. Mabafunde ingo atizabo. Banga zuwa yezi nyezi ndozi nga pande. Kupa kundi mpasa ukraipia futonga. Suwa yangi ndozi nga kuzi skolo. Focus on your work. Make sure that you dedicate time to your work. Yes. Okay, correct. Sisam, I'll say look uti numbuzo wako. On a plan, it says the scale is 1 is to 50. What does this mean? Ah, uh, what does that mean? That is a good question and I'm going to answer for it for you. What she said was on a plan, it says that the scale is 1 to 50. What does this mean? Good question. So this, ra uh, this ratio, because that's a, ra a ratio, anything one to something else is a ratio. What this represents is a relationship between the distance on a plan or the distance on a map um, and that same distance on the ground. So it's a relationship between the map and reality, all right? The first number, that one or whatever that first number is, always, um, the first number always refers to the map distance and the second one to the actual distance. So you'll see one to 50, that first one is the one on the map, the second one is the one in reality, which we'll look at in a little bit more detail. So the cool thing about scales is that there are no units in scales and because of this, it's possible to do any unit of measure, so a measurement. So it's very flexible and you can pick and choose which one works for you. The scale of measure 1 to 50 means that one millimeter on the map represents 50 millimeters in reality or one centimeter on the map represents 50 centimeters in reality, vice versa. The first one represents the measurement on the map, mm -hmm. second one in real life or on the ground, all right? One to 50 is a ratio scale. Um, and scales can also be given in other ways, all right? So you can have a verbal scale and verbal refers to words. So a verbal scale would be in words. You can have a fraction, one over 50, and these all relate to that ratio of 1 to 50 or you can have a bar scale and a bar scale looks like this in this bar scale each bar measures one centimeter okay cool what does this tell us essentially it tells us that the scale is one centimeter to 50 centimeters that one centimeter on the map if you measure it with your ruler equals to 50 centimeters on the ground if I take my ruler to the ground which is usually why we don't work with centimeters on the ground. It tells us that for every centimeter that is measured on the map, the actual distance is 50 centimeters, the actual distance in reality. So the advantage of a bar scale is that when a plan is reproduced, the bar scale is also reproduced in the same ratio, so the scale remains accurate, the same and accurate. But we can convert a bar scale into a ratio scale one centimeter to one centimeter and it looks like that that's ratio all right let's look at an example so example goes like this write the bar scale as a ratio scale the bar measures eight centimeters a bar scale may be a simple number line such as this such as in this example so if you get a test paper measure your scales but in this one in this question they give us they say bar scale as a ratio scale and the bar measures eight centimeters so we know that this bar over here measures eight centimeters right and eight centimeters is equal to 50 meters we know that we have eight centimeters that's the actual thing on that's the map if you measure the the bar it, it calculates to eight centimeters and the 50 meters is what the what we have to work with so you can't have eight centimeters on one side and 50 meters on the other we have to have the same formulas to work with so we have eight centimeters we need to get centimeters to meters how do we get centimeters to meters we multiply by 100 so to get that 50 meters to centimeters so we can start figuring out what the actual ratio will be we're going to multiply 50 times 100 and that gives us 5,000 centimeters. Now we can start finding out what our one to something else would be. How we're going to do that is that we're going to divide our eight centimeters by itself so it goes to one. 
So we divide eight centimeters by itself and what we do to the one side, we've got to do to the other side. So we're gonna say 5,000 divided by eight centimeters as well. And that gives us one to six to five. What that means is that one centimeter in reality is 625 centimeters. Um, one centimeter on the map, excuse me, is 625 centimeters in reality on the ground. Okay, mm -hmm. so scales can vary from large scales to small scales. Large scale maps um, show small areas with a lot of detail. So we'll have one to five or one to a hundred, and that would show a lot of detail because that's one centimeter on the map is just five centimeters in reality or a hundred centimeters in reality. It will show a lot of what's going on. Where small scale maps show large areas of detail. So we have an example of one, uh, one to 50,000 or one to two million and 500,000. That is leaving out a lot of detail and they're just showing vast areas of land. Okay, a plan showing the layout of a town would have a smaller scale than a plan showing the design of a single house. A town is larger than a house, so you can't exactly have all the trees and details of a town, whereas a house is a little bit smaller. You can have that tile and things all, of, all in your plan. Let's look at another example. The measurement on a plan is 12 centimeters. So here we know that they're working with the map and the measurement is 12 centimeters. The scale of that map is one to 100. What is the actual measurement? So we know the scale is one to 100. That they told us, we're gonna put that in. When you get your question, pick out all the things they tell you and write it out. It just makes it easier to answer the question. We know our scale is one to 100. So that is one centimeter on the map is 100 centimeters in reality. We know that our, our what was it? Excuse me. Our plan is 12 centimeters. So we, we have to figure out what 12 centimeters on the map would be in reality on the ground. So we have 12 centimeters on the one side, so we're gonna multiply our other side by 12. And that gives us 1,200 centimeters. So we know that 12 centimeters on the map gives us 1,200 centimeters in reality. But that is a lot of centimeters. That is, I mean, a ruler is 30 centimeters. We're gonna be working with many rulers there. So we're gonna convert it into something that we can actually work with, which would be meters or kilometers. How do we get centimeters to meters? We divide by 100, and then we know that 12 centimeters on the map gives us 12 meters in reality. Uh -huh. Cool. So, that's correct, right? Okay. Um, I'm going to Africa cover. I'm going to teaching education. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to go to teaching. teaching. Okay. I'm going to life sciences. So, I'm going to teach life sciences. Yeah. So I'm to our teacher who's in studio. When I get given the distance on the ground, how do I calculate the distance on the plane? Thank you for your question. And what she asked, if you guys didn't get it, was when I get given a distance on the ground, how do I calculate the distance on a plan? Now let's look at that question. So we can, we can do two examples here. One where we are given the ratio scale and the other where we are given the bar. Okay. So our question goes like this. The measurement on the ground is 120 kilometers. The scale of the plan is one to 1,250,000. What is the measurement on the plan in centimeters? So they're asking us what the measurement on the map is. We're given the measurement on the ground and we have the scale. Let's look at that. So we know that the scale is one to 1,250,000 and we know that our ground measures to 120 kilometers. So we need to get the same units here. We have centimeters and we have kilometers, they're too far off. Let's get them to the same and work from there. 
one centimetre goes to 1,250,000 centimetres, we know that. And to get from kilometres to centimetres, we're going to multiply by 100,000 and that will give us 12, cent 12 million centimetres. Now we're going to convert that 12 million, divide our 12 million by our scale, which was 1 to 250,000. And we know by that division that we have 9.6 centimetres. And that means that with 120 kilometres doing that calculation, we get 9.6 centimetres on the map. Our other example goes like this. The distance on the ground of a caravan park is measured to 210 metres. The bar scale below is on the plan of the caravan park. Determine the distance on the plan and the bar scale measures 12 centimetres. So we know that the ground in total measures 210 metres and we know that the bar scale measures centimetres. What the question is essentially asking us here is to do is to measure with all of that information, determine the distance on our map. We know that the scale for 60 meters, it's 12 centimeters. So for every 12 centimeters, we get 60 meters. That's what this bar scale represents and that's what the question told us. So we're gonna put that into our formula from our, for our solution. 12 centimeters gives us 60 meters in reality. 12 centimeters on the map gives us 60 meters on the ground. We've got to divide our both sides by 60 to find out how many centimetres represents one metre. Why are we doing that? We want to get our metres on its own. We want to get metres to one so that we can know what centimetres represents one metre. So we're going to say 12 divided by 60 and that gives us 0 0.2 centimetres and then we can say 0 0.2 times a 210 which was the kilometres of the entire caravan park so we have 210 meters over there. So we know that 210 meters is then, with 40, 42 centimeters on a map, we have 210 meters in reality.